Hey everybody, Chris here. So when is Dogecoin's next big move? We're gonna talk about that in this video. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell too. You can be notified when my new videos come out as well as when I do live streams. We had a great live stream on Monday evening. Hope you were there. Next one will be Wednesday at four o'clock, four o'clock p.m. East Coast time. Please be sure to tune in for that. I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at four o'clock. That's East Coast time in the United States. So join in, always a good time. What are we talking about now though? Dogecoin had a little dip this morning, but it's recovering very nicely, along with Bitcoin as well. So let's get into it. Let me show you the charts of the news, I'll show you what I'm looking at. And we'll start here looking at the current Dogecoin chart. And here we had Dogecoin kind of fading after last night's live stream. Yeah, we had the rocket. We put the rocket on the chart. Thanks to those in the chat who suggested that. And Dogecoin did move up to about 11.93 before fading off. And then this morning we had a little bit of a dump and that was of course Bitcoin. Bitcoin was just kind of retesting 65,250. Doge had dropped a little bit more, but look at the recovery back. And that is what we're looking for. Again, to maintain 11 and a half cents, We'll be looking for that to be support. So we had a little little dip here, but recovery coming back. So what's going on overall? Well, right now, this is all about Bitcoin and what is happening with Bitcoin. Right now, this is the heat map and where the liquidity is, because this is, the again, it's the leverage trading, right? We had the dip the other day where we took out more liquidity of leverage so huge ton of it below 50k bitcoin's not going down there so what we're looking for is the move up for bitcoin to take out the shorts and these are all of the open short positions right now with bitcoin we had a huge chunk taken out yesterday and more to be taken out higher that's overall what we're looking at as bitcoin then moves up, starts to take out more of those shorts, then we have the massive moves. And those massive moves for Bitcoin could be coming soon. And that is when Doge will have its big move again. When is that going to be? Well, we're going to get into that. Let's first, I just want to let you know again about Dogecoin and Dogecoin's use as a currency Get a My Doge wallet. You get the My Doge wallet on your phone. Don't put all your Doge in there. Just put some in there that you can use then for payments. That's the idea of Doge is to payment. Now, your payments could be from one person to another. It could be to a company like AMC. You want to buy AMC movie tickets? You can use Doge. Have some Doge in your My Doge wallet. And when you buy your, your movie tickets using the AMC app, you can choose cryptocurrency, select Dogecoin, and the Doge will go directly from your My Doge wallet to AMC. And you get your movie tickets. It's as simple as that. But for long-term storage, again, Ledger, this is the last chance to get up to $50 of Bitcoin when purchasing a Ledger hardware wallet. This is your long-term storage. Highly recommend moving your Doge off of the exchanges, put them in your Ledger wallet. And of course, you can move your Bitcoin or ETH or Solana or whatever else you have as well. Get them off the exchanges, get them into your crypto hardware wallet. And last day for this deal of getting $50 of Bitcoin off a of Ledger Flex, $30 of Bitcoin when uh, you buy a Ledger Nano X, and $20 of Bitcoin when you buy the Ledger Nano S Plus. That's what I have right here, my Ledger Nano S Plus. Highly recommend getting a hardware wallet. If you have any questions about uh, any of these uh, ledgers, leave a comment below. Leave a comment below and I will gladly answer any questions you have about Ledger hardware wallets. Highly recommend and use my link in the description below. We'll take you directly to the Ledger website where you can get these deals. So what's going on with Doge? Well, let's take a look at Elon. So there's this thing about more regulations 
Again, the state of California rejecting more SpaceX rocket launches. What's California doing? Are they really striking back at Elon Musk from his X posts? Rothman says politicians and bureaucrats are the greatest threat to human progress and flourishing. And Elon, he tweeted this morning, Doge will fix it. So again, Elon is gearing up for Trump to win the presidency and Elon is going to slash. And see the ax right there? He is going to be cutting the red tape and it's going to be all talking about Doge. So how high will Dogecoin actually rise if Donald Trump wins? If Trump wins the presidency, November, he doesn't actually take the presidency till January, but the results of the election could be huge for Dogecoin. We also have this bit of news. Uh, so Grayscale has a potential investment product list and they added Dogecoin to that list. So that's pretty cool. I mean, is Grayscale going to be looking to have other uh, platforms, other contracts on which people can buy Doge? That could be coming as well. Would be huge. So Dogecoin double bottom breakout is a bullish rally to 15 cents on the near horizon. And I say near horizon because here we are in the middle of October and going into November, that's going to be the presidential election. So is 15 cents on the horizon coming for Doge? 200-day uh, 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 moving average is in sights for Dogecoin now. We looked at the 200 moving average on the live stream. We'll check it again on Wednesday. Next live stream, do check that out. Uh, join in on the live streams. We have a lot of fun looking at all sorts of things, Dogecoin and crypto related. So come back for that. But as we try and look at what these next levels are, we're looking at what is uh, these, what, what are these little bands here? And what does this mean on the Doge chart? As 11.8 cents for Doge, the Ichimoku cloud, right? The bottom has been back tested and held, which means price will want to test the top of the cloud and possibly break through the wave. That's where we are. The last time we've had that sort of bottoming of this red cloud was again back in 2020, right before the big move up. So is that going to be the next big move up for Dogecoin? Well, let's see, where are we? Back in 2021, we had the thrill, we had the euphoria, we had the complacency, anxiety, panic, capitulation, anger. We went through long depression, had some hope, nice run up to 22 cents, but then we had the disbelief. The disbelief as Doge again bottomed back out, back down. Are we in optimism now? So are we then returning back around where we are going to get back to this huge thrill? Are we going to get back up to euphoria? And what is that going to look like as Doge moves up? Again, this is all about psychology of the market cycle. And are we rerunning for this next big wave up? So the coach says, fly me to the moon. Could November be a big move? Is this going to be the big move for Doge. And is it going to be in 2024? We're looking at this U.S. presidential election as being a big thing. Are we are we saying Dogecoin won't move up if Trump doesn't win the presidency? No, because, I mean, Biden won in 2020. And we saw what happened in 2021 with Doge. So if Harris wins, we could still repeat that. But right now, it's looking for a more immediate big move could happen if Trump wins the presidency. Wow, that could be that could be something. And then what does that look like? Well, here we're looking at uh, Doge God saying Dogecoin has been in consolidation for several years, holding support around 11 cents. Breakout can potentially push the price towards 30 cents or even higher. 
So we could see 30 cent doge in 2024 and higher following up in 2025. So very cool looking at <laughs> looking at what this again four year cycles 2016 into 2017, 2020 into 2021, and here we are at that inflection point in 2024 into 2025. Right now, we're looking at the recovery from this morning's dip. Right now, it looks like we're around 11.75 uh, uh, on the price, and we'll see whether we see a retrace. Bitcoin did move up over 60 seven thousand this morning we'll probably come back and retrace we could see the 66s again we'll see how bitcoin then turns around trading going forward let me know in the comments below what do you think this next big move for dogecoin will be and when that's going to happen give the video a like if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel i appreciate the support we'll see you next time